Today is going to be a busy day. We're nearing the end of term, so I have no lectures today, but I do have assignments to finish and a meeting with my project supervisor. To give me energy for the day, I like to have a high protein breakfast, and today I'm having protein porridge. I try not to add too many sugars to my breakfast because a sugar spike in the morning makes me feel tired by the early afternoon. While having breakfast, I tend to watch YouTube videos or scroll through Twitter. This is not a great habit and I'm trying to break it because it can put me in a poor mindset to tackle work throughout the day. After breakfast, I begin work and today I'm reading through some of the papers that I'll use as the background for my research project, which is on spacecraft charging. My project is focused on an upcoming European Space Agency mission called Vigil and modelling the effects of space plasma on one of the instruments on board. I have a meeting with my supervisor later to discuss what I've learned since our last meeting and I'm trying to go through as many papers as I can. These meetings are a great way for me to iron out any issues I've faced or topics I don't understand, so I try to go with plenty of questions in mind. After an hour of work, I begin getting ready to head into campus for my supervisor meeting. Since I don't have any lectures today, I can pack relatively lightly and take only my laptop, papers, stationery and gym clothes for a gym session later. While I'm heading into uni, let me tell you a little bit about my degree. So some of you may know that I did an astrophysics undergraduate degree, and since then I've decided to study a Masters in Space Science and Engineering with a focus on space technology at UCL. The degree covers a mix of astrophysics and space science, but also the aerospace engineering that allows us to explore space for human benefit. I've decided to study the technology pathway, which focuses more on the engineering rather than the space science that surrounds space exploration. So a lot of the modules I take are on the design of spacecraft, the instruments on board, and the systems engineering that we use to design space missions. It takes me around half an hour to get into campus using the overground and the tube. I like the commute. It gives me time to prepare for whatever I have planned for the day and represents a definite switch from relaxation in my room to working at university. It's been snowing in London recently, so the commute looks particularly beautiful today. I get off the tube and head straight to my supervisor meeting. During my supervisor meeting, I discuss the theory from the papers that I've been reading and any of the problems I've encountered. Throughout the meeting, I take rough notes on any topics discussed, suggested reading, and any help with problems I've had. After the hour-long meeting, I head straight to the main library to type up my notes and begin working through some of the problems I've had issues with. This library always makes me feel motivated since it's always filled with other students hard at work. Plus, the wooden aesthetic always makes it feel cosy, especially during the winter months. I like to go through the topics and issues that I just discussed while the information is fresh in my mind to ensure that I don't forget any of the small details that might be relevant. I try to minimise distractions while working, so I block off time in my calendar to dedicate to a single task. Here I'm blocking off a four hour window to write up my project notes and work through some of the derivations and readings. Doing this helps me enter a state of flow while working, which increases my productivity significantly. I like having defined times and places for tasks, so although I have a few different tasks to get done today, the four hours of work in the main library will only be used for reviewing my meeting with my supervisor. After working in the library for a few hours, I decide to head to the gym to get a workout in. I've always found exercise to significantly improve my ability to focus. Today, I'm doing a leg session. I'm recovering from an ankle injury I had playing rugby, and so it's been a while since I've done a full leg session. I like to start with compound movements like squats, and then I isolate muscle groups with leg extension, hamstring curls, and leg press. 
I like finishing my leg day with bicep curls or tricep extensions to get some upper body activation. This was a pretty tough leg day, but it felt good to get back into the lower body exercise regimes. With my legs fatigued, I head to the science library to continue work. As I mentioned, a new location for work represents a new task to work on, so here I'm working on an upcoming assignment I have. I'm writing an initial report on the research I've done so far, and the research I plan to conduct in the following semester. As I've said, my master's project will focus on the Vigil mission. Now, Vigil is designed to observe the Sun at a point called L5, which is 60 degrees behind Earth's orbit. This allows us to monitor the solar weather that might impact Earth with plenty of notice. So my project is looking at how the space plasma environment at this point will affect the plasma analyzer instrument on the upcoming mission. I managed to get most of the report completed before I head home to cook some dinner. I like to cook. I find it relaxing. Today I'm cooking roast chicken and vegetables. Meals like this are my favorite. They're simple, healthy, and provide enough protein for me after my workout. I add some vegetables, chicken, and seasoning to a single dish, and cook it in the oven until the chicken is thoroughly cooked. I'm cooking two chicken breasts, and I'll save one for a snack tomorrow. While dinner cooks, I finish off writing my report. Since I had a pretty productive session at the library, I only need to finish off small sections of the report and correct any mistakes I find while proofreading. As tedious as it can be, proofreading has always led me to find errors in my work and correct them, which is a good thing. Working when I get home before I eat just means I get to relax for the rest of the night while I eat. I usually finish off the night by watching a film or a few YouTube videos or by reading. This is by far not a perfectly productive day or routine, but I've tried giving a true representation of what my day typically looks like, and in the future I hope to improve on my routine.